Superconducting electronics have been developed along with the 100-year history of superconductivity. In general, the superconductor is well known for having zero resistance below a certain temperature. However, in quantum mechanics perspective, it has more than that. Josephson junction is used for nearly every application of superconductors. This leads us to talk about the Josephson junction. In this video, we will cover three topics, the quantum chemistry of superconductor, the concept of Josephson junction, and some applications of it. First, let's begin with the superconductor. A superconductor is a material which has zero electric resistance and a 100% magnetic resistance below the critical temperature. This is the basic of superconductor that we are familiar with. But what causes superconductivity? The answer is Cooper pairs. In superconductors, when electrons pass, cations in the conductor are slightly attracted toward the moving electrons by the Coulomb electric force. Then, other electrons can feel the cations moving. So, they are attracted to the electrons that pass earlier, as if the electrons that pass first appear to have a positive charge. Eventually, the electrons that pass first and the electrons that follow later move in a pair which is called the Cooper electron pairs. This Cooper pair is the key to superconductivity. Two electrons in a Cooper pair always have energy near the Fermi level when it is below the critical temperature, and this is the difference in energy. The formula was for an electron pair, so the energy gap for one electron is here. This energy gap makes a superconductivity. Below the critical temperature, the energy gap of Cooper pairs is larger than the increased energy of Cooper pairs. Therefore, electronic resistance becomes zero. Josephson effect is a supercurrent that follows indefinitely long without any voltage applied across a device known as Josephson junction, which consists of two or more superconductors coupled with a weak link. Josephson effect is the main evidence of the tunneling effect of Cooper pairs. Cooper pairs in one of the superconductors can go through the insulator to the other superconductor by tunneling. This makes the supercurrent between two superconductors. The equations for the voltage and the current through the junction are like this. Phi is the phase difference across the junction, and IC is a constant, the critical current of the junction. The critical current is an important phenomenological parameter of the device that can be affected by temperature as well as by an applied magnetic field. Until a critical current is reached, electron pairs can tunnel across the barrier without any resistance. In this case, the voltage is zero. But the, when the critical current is exceeded, the voltage will develop across the junction. That voltage will depend on time known as AC voltage. This, in turn, causes a lowering of the junction's critical current, causing even more normal current to flow and a larger AC voltage. In contrast, we can also make a supercurrent by applying voltage. When voltage equals zero, phi is constant, so the current will also have a constant value. If the voltage has a constant value larger than zero, the phase will vary linearly with time and there will be an AC current with amplitude IC. Detecting and measuring the change from one state to the other is at the heart of the many applications for Josephson junctions. An electronic circuit is the main application for Josephson junction, especially digital logic circuitry. These are used to build a more fabricated circuit called SCID, superconducting quantum interference device. A SCID consists of a loop with two Josephson junctions interrupting the loop. It is extremely sensitive to the total amount of magnetic field that penetrates the area of the loop. Squids are being used for research in a variety of areas. Since the brain operates electrically, by sensing the magnetic fields created by neurological currents, we can monitor the activity of the brain. Squid magnetometer can be also used for geological research, detecting remnants of past geophysical changes of the Earth's field in rocks. 
Another application for Josephson Junction is qubit. Since quantum computers become known for efficient solving for factorization problems, many kinds of research about qubit have been conducted to materialize it. The usage of a superconductor is suggested to make qubit from electronic elements. Superconducting qubits based on Josephson Junction can be classified as charge qubit, phase qubit, and flux qubit. As researches are progressing, weaknesses of each type are complemented by developing hybrid forms of them. The possibility of implementing physical theories of quantum mechanics and measurements on electronic chips by experiments are providing interesting research topics to researchers. Thank you for